Hello everyone, right over here, hope you're having a great day. So a lot has changed since I did my last disk setup video, so I thought about doing more of an updated version of my current disk setup. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Rad. I'm a designer working both from home and from the office. And this is my productive place where I work, chill, or play some games every now and then. But let's not waste any more time. So just sit back, relax, let's get into it. So let's start with the most important piece in this office, and that is my desk. I decided to build my own desk, both to save money, but also to have more control over the look of the table. The desktop is from Ikea. It's called Eggbacken and it's actually a kitchen top. It's around 186 cm wide and 63 cm deep. I absolutely love this lighter concrete look and it's so much more versatile to pair with office decorations and also much easier to color grade when I'm shooting content. The height adjustable legs are from Boho Office and I just got this new version of the model Easy Desk, which comes with both an improved stability and speed, which is now 80 millimeters per second. It's super fast as you can see on the video. The width of the legs are also adjustable, so you can tailor it to both smaller and larger desktops. It's fairly easy to build and the quality of materials is super nice and sturdy. Having a sit and stand desk is really important to me because I like to stand once in a while when I work, but also being able to do those small height adjustments throughout the day is just so nice. You can control the height with an app called Desk Control. Just press the Bluetooth connection button and it connects after a couple of seconds. I personally don't really control it through the app as it's so much faster to do it with the physical controller, but it is a nice little touch. My office chair is from Herman Miller and this model is called Aaron. I absolutely love this chair. It's the most expensive piece of furniture I have ever bought, but it's absolutely worth it. If you also have a desk job or you in general sit behind a desk for many hours a day, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is for your health to get a good ergonomic chair. I can definitely recommend getting this one. The only thing that it doesn't have is a headrest, but I found one that matches it perfectly from the brand Atlas. They primarily focus on making headrests for Herman Miller, which is perfect as both the materials and colors are more or less identical. You might be lucky to get the chair cheaper if you look at places like Facebook Marketplace or companies that sell them refurbished. The monitor is Xiaomi 34 inch curved display. It's a 3440 on 1440 ultra wide display with a 144Hz refresh rate. It's a VA panel so obviously we cannot expect extremely accurate colors like on my newest MacBook Pro display but it does the job and honestly for the price tag of around 400 euros you get a lot for your money. I do like to game occasionally, so for me it's a perfect combo of having a gaming and working monitor. I bought this monitor over two years ago, so obviously there are better options on the market right now. You can get better specs for almost the same money from brands like LG or Huawei for example. On top of the monitor I have a screen bar halo LED monitor light from BenQ. It's a great accessory for your monitor as it helps reduce eye strain by providing more gentle light around your desk. In the package you also get this wireless controller which allows you to adjust the brightness and call temperature. On the back of the monitor I attach two Philips Hue light bars to provide me with some extra light when I work at night and they are great to create a more immersive experience when I play games. I have my monitor sitting on this monitor arm I found on Amazon to save some space underneath the monitor so I can utilize the space a bit more. This is probably the thing people ask me the most about. It cost me around $30 and it looks pretty cool as it creates this levitating effect. However, if you have a heavier monitor this might not be the best option for you. When it comes to my primary working computer, I'm using the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip, 16GB of RAM and 500GB of SSD storage. It does the job fairly well and I'm able to edit 4K videos in 10-bit color without a problem, but I do feel like sometimes that I could use a bit of extra power. Maybe I will upgrade to the M1 Max in the future or once Apple updates their M2 lineup with Pro and Max versions. On the right side of my desk I have my mini 8DX gaming computer that I have built myself. I wanted a small form factor piece that can sit on my desk and doesn't take too much space. The case is made out of aluminium and it's from a company called Streetcom. For my keyboard of choice I picked up the Keychron K3 low profile mechanical keyboard with red switches. This keyboard has a 75% layout and I went for the red switches as they are more linear and quiet. They are more suitable for both office and gaming which is exactly my use case. This keyboard works with both Mac and Windows just by switching one toggle which is super convenient if you want to minimize the amount of devices you have on your desk. To the right I have my Logitech MX Master 3. In my opinion this is still one of the best mouses out there. I have been using the MX Master since the first one came out and it's just super comfortable and ergonomic. What I love the most about 
about this mouse is the amount of customizable buttons and features that are really helpful for designing and overall productivity. Now let's talk about some of the gadgets and accessories I use on my desk setup. I'm using this Satoshi 165 watt USB-C 4 port charger that literally powers the majority of my setup. It charges my MacBook Pro and both of my wireless chargers, plus I still have one cable free whenever I need to charge some video equipment. I have it hidden under my desk so it doesn't take up unnecessary space on my desk. Under my monitor I have an Orbit Key Nest where I'm keeping my hard drive and memory cards and just overall small things that I use every day. Next up is this wireless charger from Nomad. This is their Base 1 Max model and to be honest I think this is one of the best looking wireless chargers out there. I use it mainly to charge my Apple Watch and my phone when I'm working. On the right side of my table I have this 2-in-1 headphone stand from Satoshi with another wireless charger where I usually charge my second phone or AirPods Pro. It looks super sleek and you can also plug in another cable and charge your over-ear headphones straight from the back of the charger. Which brings me to my headphones of choice and those are the Apple AirPods Max. I do listen to music quite a lot throughout the day and these bad boys deliver a really great sound experience. Next to my computer I also have this handmade incense stick holder made by my good friend Lucy. On the left side of my desk I have an aroma diffuser from the Japanese brand Muji. It also has a built-in light which makes it really cozy while I'm working in the evening. I have it placed on this little concrete tray where I'm keeping my essential oils for the aroma diffuser together with this nice tobacco scented candle. My desk mat of choice is from a company called Orbit Key and this is their desk mat slim version. They also have medium and large version if you have a larger desk. It's really high quality desk mat made from vegan leather. The magnetic cable holder can be moved anywhere along the left line and it's good for keeping your cables in place and having them easily accessible. Next to my desk I have this IKEA Axel shelf unit in grey color where I store all my important documents and cables that I don't need to see every day. On top of the unit I always have this little marble tray that I found in an H&M home where I always store the perfume that I'm currently using. Right now I'm rocking this perfume from Tom Ford. It just smells so good. Next to my perfume I have this beautiful stone speaker from a company called Lumio. To turn it on you just simply open the speaker and it also reveals this light that can be dimmed or turned off completely if you want to. Next up I just have some nice dry flowers, a concrete art piece that I made myself, bare brick statue and a nice little snake plant. In the corner I have this tube light from a company called Hey Design that is plugged with a Philips Hue smart plug so I can easily turn it on and off with the rest of my lights. And on top of my desk I have IKEA drone art from the IKEA art collection. So yeah, that's it for the video. Let me know what you think about it or if you have any questions in the comment section down below. I will most likely be building a dedicated gaming setup very soon so stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Follow me on social media, stay rad and I'll see you next time.